We can't talk about budget gaming without mentioning the IdeaPad Gaming 3 from Lenovo. Earlier on, we reviewed the Intel-based 2022 laptop, which performed well, but the small battery couldn't sustain the laptop for very long. Can Zen 3 Plus and Ryzen 6000 offer something that Intel doesn't? Stick around to find out. The design is very Legion inspired, with either white or grey color with blue accents on the back. It's entirely made from plastic, which can work well, as we've seen on the new Nitro 5. However, here we have a bouncy lid and not the strongest base. Still, the portability is decent, weighing 2.32 kg and with a profile of 21.8 mm. Chassis durability aside, the input devices are still some of the best in the segment, with the keyboard being comfortable for typing and gaming, thanks to the long key travel and clicky feedback. The touchpad has a familiar Mylar cover, which is very smooth, while the accuracy and responsiveness are up there. When compared to the Intel-powered model, you lose the Thunderbolt support but get one Type-C 3.2 10GB port, two full-sized USB 5GB ports, HDMI 2.0, LAN, and a 3.5mm audio jack. The laptop comes with a 120Hz Full HD display as standard, which is decent for gaming, with a good response time, but it lacks proper color coverage for creator work. Thankfully, there are other options if you fancy better colors and a higher 165Hz refresh rate. The 45Wh battery pack fares better with an AMD CPU, as the laptop lasts for 6 hours and 19 minutes of web browsing, or 6 hours and 21 minutes of video playback, which is almost 3 hours more than the Intel-powered IdeaPad in both test cases. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. On the other hand, the Ryzen 5 6 600H is behind the Core i5 12 500H in both 3D rendering and Photoshop benchmarks. However, the Core i5 12 500H is an outlier and feels more like a supercharged Core i5, with its 12 cores and 16 threads posing a challenge to even the big hitters from AMD like the Ryzen 7 6 800H. As for GPU performance, despite carrying the same exact GPU, when paired with an AMD CPU, the 85W RTX 3050 is 5% and 6% quicker in 3D Mark Fire Strike and Unigen Superposition, while in games, the AMD laptop has a lead in low settings, but it evens out in higher settings. By the way, check out our new channel where we test all popular graphics cards on all popular games, on all presets. It's a lot of work and we'll be happy if you subscribe to it. The IdeaPad Gaming 3 has three heat pipes, with one shared and one separate pipe for the CPU and GPU, along with two fans and several heatsinks. The AMD processor heats up significantly, reaching 100 degrees Celsius and running at pretty high clock speeds during the entire stress test. The GPU performs well under stress as well, running at nearly 2000 MHz, with a temperature of 72 degrees Celsius. Comfort is alright, as the fans aren't that noisy, while the hotspot of the base is located closer to the top, so your hands are generally in a cooler area. Upgradeability is quite good, with two RAM slots for a total of 64GB of DDR5 memory and two M.2 slots. However, only one of them supports Generation 4 drives, and it's the smaller 42mm kind. We'll leave our teardown video in the description, so you can check out how to upgrade the laptop. The AMD-powered IdeaPad Gaming 3 remains a good budget gaming option, despite the slight CPU performance decrease when compared to Intel. Of course, gaming performance is more important and here the AMD variant is slightly better. To us, this is a much more balanced laptop, sacrificing some CPU power for better battery life. For a more detailed look, you can take a look at our written review, 
which gets into every nook and cranny of the idea pad gaming 3.